Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Another weekly vlog. We never know where it's gonna go. Just no one can predict. But right now, doing some Instagram stuff. I got a package from Stronger. And it's so crazy because I actually, like, they were one of the first brands, I think, that I took pictures for like three, four years ago when I just started doing Instagram stuff. So I'm excited to be working with them again. Um, they're not sponsoring this YouTube video though. I'm only working with them for Instagram stuff, but I'm just showing you guys behind the scenes of kind of what I'm doing for this Instagram stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna do like a try and haul for my Instagram. And then Brian said he would help me take a photo. I need to brush these lashes out. So we're gonna go on like a little walk, a little nature mini hike and capture the content. That's what's happening today. I think maybe here is a good spot for the background of the triangle. Yeah, this will be really good actually. Cute. Well, let's go. All right, I finished filming the try-on haul. I literally went through all the outfits and then back to the first one because I think this is the one I want to wear for the photo. I have a confession to make. This is so ridiculous. Um, I haven't checked the mail, like our mailbox, since we moved in. Like I get packages in this like locker thing, but I haven't checked like our USPS mail since we moved in. Like I, the key is still like in a bag. So I think I'm gonna check the mail today. Brian doesn't know. He said when we moved in, checking the mail is your responsibility, and I've never done it. I think because he solely gave me the responsibility, I have avoided it. So it's been really weighing on my mind. <laughs> like, I don't know how much is in there. I don't know if there's anything important. I don't know if things like getting sent back at this point because it's like so full they can't fit anything else. So I think today's the day I have to check the mail. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> I'm just gonna go have to get over with like I'm stressed and Brian's not here So it's perfect time for me to like secretly check the mail And he won't know that I haven't done it literally this entire time Until he watches this vlog. Sorry, babe. As I was caught As I was gone to get the mail look who came home I was saying in the vlog I was saying in the vlog that um, I haven't checked the mail since we moved in here and I was very stressed. This is the first time that I've gone to the mailbox, babe. Look, it's blue light filtration, macular strength, visual performance, especially for blue light. Blue light like degrades your eyes. Oh, you got a supplement for your eyes? Yeah. And like eye strain in general. Mm. Ooh, I got some mail for my LLC. Baby Kate Enterprises. Certificate of Enterprising. Congratulations for registering your business, it says. I need the mirror. I know. Get that one out. Brian ordered some skincare off of an Instagram ad. Yeah. Does he even know who he's dating? He doesn't listen to any of my skincare advice. What is it supposed to do? Repair under eye. <laughs> These bags and. Well, you can get a facial or something. Or we can use any of the products that are already in the bathroom. Where is this? Why can't I open it? it? Says from shipping manager. That could be literally any company. Oh, it's that remote that we bought. <laughs> you guys um our remote wasn't working on the upstairs tv the older one we were fighting with it we were downloading an app we were like getting so mad every day that only like a couple of the buttons would work like we could only watch netflix but like you couldn't press hulu or anything i ordered a whole another tire remote we were about to throw away the whole tv honestly because then the app wasn't even working without the tv was broken i had a revolutionary idea one day I changed the batteries in the existing remote and suddenly everything works perfectly. We almost threw out the whole thing. We literally almost were like, well, this TV is done. But now we have an additional remote for no flipping reason. I don't know. Brian has confessed that the 
eye creamy bot might be makeup. <laughs> it might just be. Why does he make up? <laughs> it might just be concealer. Let me see it. I don't know. Where is it? <laughs> it might just be eucalyptus flavored makeup. Flavor? <laughs> this is what he bought Let's off do, of Instagram. Let me Google it. Preparing eye stick. Is anything even coming out? I don't think anything's coming out. Okay, now we got it coming out. Oh. And now it's coming out. Is it no, tinted? Yeah. I don't know. Is that what you do? No! Oh. It's not necessary. Is it coming out? I don't know. This is what happens when you buy things on Instagram ads. Oh, there we go. Now it's coming out. You're looking it looks like makeup though. <laughs> bought something off an Instagram ad actually. Is it makeup? <laughs> no. It's jewelry. Might be terrible. But actually, I forgot I turned the camera off. But I just opened up this package from Anna Luisa, who I'm also gonna work with for the next two months. And I got some earrings. They're like a really cute square. And then a ring, this one, and then a bracelet. Very excited about it. And then some other jewelry company. <laughs> I bought oh. off an Instagram ad <laughs> called Slides. It's like some sort of jewelry subscription. What did I get? Necklace it. Necklace? Kinda cute. I have another necklace on. Interesting. Or it on my other arm, I guess. Proven serum reduces puffiness, eliminates dark circles. People like it. Let's oh. look at your eyes. I guess you might sometimes have to do it for a couple of days. Mmm. You're looking beautiful already. Mmm. 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 It is a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. The temperature is amazing. Honestly, this is like the perfect temperature. Yeah. So we're going for a little hike. There was some moisture in here. Perfect. Oh, it's it's so nice. So Brian's taking me to this little city view hike. It's called best view in town, baby. Just a little trail, not a far walk. He said. This is where he would have taken me oh, to impress me, to hook up with me. It would have worked. I'm <laughs> just being honest. Oh, gosh. Oh, Kygo has a new song out. Oh, exciting. What a beautiful day. Look at, this, look at the sky. You're in the mountains. You're into which mountains. not. You're not into mountains? Like desert shrubbery. <laughs> I mean, there are some people that like come to Nevada for the first time. I'm like, oh, it's beautiful. I'm not signing up for this. Yes, you signed up for this one. You became my GF. Oh, God. I didn't read this in the GF contract. Do like some twirls and stuff. Like wee! Yeah, there you go. Wee! Oh, silly Kate! We have to do anything. <laughs> Just for like the, the opening thumbnail or whatever. That must be a picture. Like that. 
There you go. Wow, she's sporty. <laughs> the last four digits of your credit card account number. Wait, I don't have a credit card, I have a debit card. <laughs> Report fraud! We're sorry, the number you entered was not recognized. Uh, Please enter the last four digits. I don't think I have a credit card. Fraud. Guys, somebody's tricked me into <laughs> fraud. <laughs> Look, she got this on the vlog. Um, I think, okay, so we're walking down the mountain, oh, and it's like, your God. account has been suspended for suspicious activity. Please log into Chase. I'm like, oh my gosh. And I did kind of have like some bigger transactions lately, so I'm like, shoot, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> so I log, I, I click the link, and I log into Chase with my username and password, and then it says, Confirm your identity. Give us your email address and email password. And I was like, wait a second, that doesn't seem right. Then I try to click back and the website starts looking all weird and Brian's like, wait a second, wait a second. <laughs> and we're like, this is totally like someone's trying to get my information. So I quickly went and changed my username and password, but they might already be in my account. So I need to call. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. Welcome, Caitlin. But any other concerns for me while you have me on the phone? Uh, no, that's it. All right. Well, if there's something else, well, thank you for staying with Chase. All right. Have a good day now. You Thanks. stay safe and healthy out there. Thank bye you. Bye. 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 All right. <laughs> I think uh, my account is secure. That was really scary. <laughs> don't click any suspicious links, you guys. Just don't do it. All right, guys. Today I'm revealing the big secret. Revealing. This is the big reveal. I haven't said what it is yet. Brrr. But I'm at Beauty Goals and we bought an M Sculpt Neo. Neo. I'm so excited to be offering this treatment now. And basically, it builds your muscle mass and dissolves your fat and tightens your skin. And you can do it on a bunch of areas, your abs, your butt, your biceps, triceps, your calves, your hamstrings, your thighs, the front of them, <laughs> the inside of them, the outside of them. So, uh, Brian, stop. Brian's here and we're gonna both treat our abdomen today. And Michelle and her husband, Kwa, we're gonna, they're gonna treat their abdomen, so. Brian's filming himself and his experience. <laughs> we're so excited. Earlier, and it seemed like all of them were after four, all the mm -hmm. pictures and stuff. Because the satellite cells don't even start to show up until like later on. Huh? Really? Which which one do you want to sit in? Whatever one you want, babe. I'll go okay. in the corner. You want to go in the corner? Go sleep. Okay. Do you not see what they were just I'm doing? I'm just thinking in sleep. <laughs> <laughs> if you need a blanket, we can get you a blanket. Oh, you no. should have left that under. Oh, sorry. Get it together. Get it together. They yeah. also took his black shorts off when I was like, what? Should I pull my pants lower? Mm -hmm. But it doesn't it really matter pants. because it still works even with the... But the radio frequency will catch up. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, that's fine. See your seats maybe. It was fine when I did this before though. If you don't feel like Yeah, I'm ready. You have your phone with you? Uh, we'll have to have them hand it to you so you can take this the video. This one here? The one with no case because I'm crazy. Someone's going to pick these up. I don't feel anything yet. Oh, I hear, I feel the radio frequency. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Does that surprise you? A little bit. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's 
something. It's surprising. It just, it's, yeah, it's surprising. You don't know what to expect when, yeah. when you've never done it's anything. It's only 5% though. <laughs> 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 That's it, I'm done. Mr. 100. 100%. Yeah, oh, we're at 10. <laughs> you can keep going. Doesn't it feel interesting, Brian? It feels interesting. Yeah, that pop right there is getting rid of the lactic That's acid. That's lactic acid. I bet. Wow. Where are we at? You can turn it up. Well, I know this is the easy part. I'm assuming you probably just put. Oh! Look at that. You can see my muscles activated right here. We made it. We made it. Will you take it off for me? Oh. Nice. I'm sweaty. Yeah, me too. It's <laughs> warm. Look, I got abs already. <laughs> We're just lounging on this comfy Sunday morning. Brian has a lot of blackheads going on here. And so we've decided it's time for an emergency facial. Emergency. An emergency facial. He's like, we'll get that crap out. Yeah. So I'm getting some things together. All right. Emergency cleaning. <laughs> what? Cold. Why are you sh shuddering? Cold. on it's got a clay mask going how do you feel masked <laughs> you feel like you're at a spa i don't know never been to a spa <laughs> you got football on yeah. your phone and on the tv you're living the life i am living the life i took a picture of the blackheads on his nose and he goes oh my gosh can you can you do a mini facial he knows he needed it Gonna be so glowing after this. All done. Look how glowing he is now. I'm glowing. Wow. Pretty BF. It's the end of the work day. Michelle's gonna do my laser treatment. This is my second one. Um, I shared a before and after on my Instagram page, Esthetician Caitlin, of just one treatment. But I'm doing laser resurfacing the sliding. It's making me look better than I actually do. I have some melasma here, um, some large pores. It's just gonna like refine and resurface everything. Okay. I already numb my face for like 15 minutes, but this is a super easy treatment. It doesn't really hurt. It's more later when I get red. Okay, I'm gonna cover your eyes. Yep. Okay. It makes me flinch just because it's like loud, but it doesn't hurt. Okay, I'm gonna go. Ready? Yep.
redness is probably going to kick in in about 10 minutes. I'm feeling a little fiery. Yeah. This, I think the same as last time. My neck. Right? No. Is that big of a no. Yeah, it was kind of the same. It was good. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm definitely starting to get red. Last time I did this treatment, Brian kept calling me La Vampira because he thought I did a vampire facial. Because he just, I don't know, probably saw that on Instagram or something. And I was like, it's not the vampire facial. That's microneedling with PRP. This is a laser. And he's just like, La Vampira, that's your name. So I'm going to text him right now. I'm going to text him. La Vampira is on her way home. I bet he was going to come back with something funny. Aww. I didn't even realize he was going to say that. I literally clicked record as that came through. Aw, Brian's watching the vlog right now. The vlog that went up today. That's sweet. Alright guys, I'm home. About to walk through the door. Let's see what he says. Hello? Hi. Where are you? I'm very red. I don't take a bath together. I can't get hot. Sorry. <laughs> I can't even move my face. Well, it's not in here. It doesn't even look that bad in here versus in the mirror. I'll just be sitting in front of a fan all night. You can't get hot? No. Oh, I'm not supposed to get my face wet till tomorrow, and I'm I can't have- your face in the bath? Yeah, but I, the steam and any heat, I'm already on fire. I can't do any heat. Well, you better not be around me then. <laughs> okay. Yes, Stefano's Greek and Mediterranean. Oh, God. They have- Look, you would love one of these plates. Let's see the plates. There's a combo plate where you get chicken and steak on rice with hummus, I don't pita. Like rice, hummus, or pita. Did you just get a skewer? Okay, maybe. It's all on the list. If you spend all our money on Stefano's, you're not going to be able to go to Bora Bora. You're taking it, Bora Bora. Can't go to Bora Bora when we're Bora Bora. <laughs> we're not Bora Bora. Well, I'm poor, poor, but hot. <laughs> <laughs> How do I navigate this menu? I don't know. I don't eat Stefano's. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Stefano? Call him up. What does him. plates 3P mean? So should we get the combo plate and you can... All right, how many skewers are you going to want? Not that many. You want like the steak one and I'll have the chicken one? You just take it right off the top? Two skewers for... That doesn't seem like a good value. Look at how much food that is. That's a whole chicken and a whole steak, a huge thing of rice, hummus, which is usually an upcharge, and then whatever that stuff is, All the right. cucumber rice salad. All right, I'll take your and Stefano's word for it. You know, if we were ordering from like Applebee's right now, you'd be getting like the two for 26 and it'd be like $30 and you'd be like, this is a great deal. But Stefano, sixteen dollars. Sounds like, rip. You're like, what? What a rip off! I have no idea. <laughs> well, we could add some stuff. I love adding. Extra pita? No. How about veggie? Shrimp kebab. You want a shrimp kebab? That sounds good. No, it's a kebab. Why are you saying it like that? I don't see the shrimp. I don't think that's how kebab is spelled, is it? Do you see shrimp? Yeah. Oh, here it is. Right there. Just one. I think that's it. It's perfect. Yeah, can you bring forks and maybe paper towels? Oh! I just bring one fork and one paper towel, that's it. Why not two forks? Well, three. I'll make rules. Oh. Oh. Why? 
Sorry. Hit my heel on the way up. Oh no. I'm scratch my back. <laughs> oh. How is that gonna help? Oh, I sacrificed myself. Ow. Oh, sorry. Now both our heels are done. <laughs> <laughs> Smells pretty good. Told you it would be it's good. It's cold in here. Why do you always have the AC on? I swear. You're making me mad. I just stop. We should not eat this in the bed. I'm just telling. I'm just warning you. I can't go downstairs. Mm. I can't. Right. That was the point of the delivery of the upstairs. What is your excuse today? Love and Pura. Oh my god. I told you. Where's the shrimp? That looks like shrimp. No. Oh, these are shrimps. This is chicken for sure. Pita? This is the only sauce. What is it? It's a garlic. It's not even sauce. What's that? What? Oh, that's hummus? Yeah. I love dipping the chicken in hummus. And I love the garlic mm. sauce. Shrimps are good. Yeah? Hell yeah. Mm. Your steak is great. Mmm. The chicken is really good. What's that? This is excellent. Are those garlic kill vampires? Isn't that a thing? <laughs> I'm just, just saying. <laughs> like logically. Logically? <laughs> I'm self sabotaging. <laughs> Do you want to get technical? Oh my gosh, that steak is so good. Do you want some more pita? I already had two full ones. I thought you already had dinner before I came home. You said you already ate. <laughs> All I ate was. Two peanut butter and jelly muffins. Classic. And a TV dinner. <laughs> and two sausages. <laughs> and an entire large port of subs at 3 p.m. <laughs> an entire TV dinner? It's just a start. It's just a prequel. Why are you eating so much? I'm 180 pound BF, man. I'm, I'm a thick boy. Bulking season. It's too much. I'm 180 pound BF, I tell you. Many times a day. You literally said you weren't hungry. I wasn't. Now I am. <laughs> That's how hunger works, man. You aren't and then you are. It all changed so fast. You know what? When this you're the classic situation. When you're the weight that I am currently. <laughs> Won't say it. Good morning. I don't know why I'm so tired today. I think because it's so cold out. It was like freezing in here. But anyways, um, I wanted to show you what my face looks like now. Oh, sorry. I was just drinking greens. <laughs> it's not green. My face did not turn green. I was drinking some greens because we had that Mediterranean food last night. Kind of late. I got home late from work, like after seven which is late for me. And then our dinner arrived at like 8.30, which is really late for me eating dinner. And then I just instantly laid back down and fell asleep. And so I woke up feeling so like heavy and like, nah, I do not eat that late. So anyways, I had some greens. Um, so my face is green, but you can see from the laser, I'm just like pink here. Pink around my eyes. Um, it just looks like, honestly, it looks darker. Like, kind of, I got a tan. Totally normal. It still feels kind of raw. Um, it was pretty hot last night. I took a Tylenol. It wasn't bad. I didn't need to take the Tylenol. I just knew that it would help and I would like sleep lighter, sleep better. So I did. It's just a little red and tight, a little sensitive. Um, gonna take it super easy this week on my skincare I'll show you guys I have just like an aftercare serum and sunscreen that's all I'm gonna be using 
and then in about like to probably tomorrow or the next day it's gonna start getting really dry and a little bit flaky i didn't go deep enough to actually peel from it so most likely i'll just kind of have like a grid pattern because you, you probably saw it's like little dots so you'll be able to see that once it's like kind of scabbed over um like tomorrow or the next day and it'll look just like dry and flaky and then that'll last for like five to seven days so in like a week from now my skin will be looking a lot better and then the full result is technically like two weeks after when you're like fully healed but you really only look weird for like like red for 24 hours dry for like five to seven days so yeah really excited um my first treatment really helped with my melasma so we will see all right guys it's a week full of beauty treatments <laughs> it always is in my world actually <laughs> um michelle's gonna do a form of botox on me this is a different kind it's called xeomin and what is it what's the difference michelle it's a more purified version yeah, so basically it doesn't have the accessory protein that Botox and Dysport have. Um, so it keeps your body getting immune to it, basically. From getting it immune keeps to it, it from, okay. Switching it up. I know it's also not typically as strong, strong right? So it's a little bit more natural looking. It's really good for young people. Mm -hmm. Um, if you have a lot of movement, probably not the best one for you, right? Yes, exactly. But mine, I try to wait at least six months. It's been over six months, almost seven months. We did it in March, I think. That's just because the way Michelle does it, mine lasts a long time. <laughs> but, um, and I'm young, so I just, I don't need to get it as often. Most people do every like three to five months. I also do it in my chin um, because I have a chin quiver spasm that I've always had my whole life. And when I get the Botox there, it completely stops it. You it's like magic. It there, I had no idea. Michelle saw me one day, my chin was quivering. She's like, you know we can Botox that. I'm like, are you serious? I've been living with this my whole life. It literally changed my life because it used to make my whole teeth like chatter it would quiver so hard and it's really annoying i'm ready okay can you scowl for me okay relax i don't feel like anything people numb for this yeah sometimes not really scowl again for me You're not going to have wrinkles in your eyes. <laughs> Maybe it will anti-age my eyes. <laughs> it's mostly saline, right? Mm -hmm. Like, that's what it's mixed with. Mm -hmm. You're needing a little bit today. You say that every time. I think you just forget with me. I always bleed a lot compared to other people. Just I haven't. Bad on the video. Oh, <laughs> sorry guys. Because <laughs> most people don't bleed this way. Yeah, most people don't really bleed with Botox, right? Mm. Like nothing. Okay, done. Awesome. Yay! Hi, hi. Good evening. I stopped by the mailbox. Brian is at his soccer game, and. Parts of our Halloween costume are being delivered. So Brian, I had like told him some ideas of what I wanted us to be for Halloween and he was like, said yes, no to some of them. He was like, you know what, you're just gonna decide and I'm just gonna put it on. So I haven't actually told him what I decided on officially. I'm kind of keeping it as a surprise. He knows I think what I wanted to be. I don't think he's too hyped on it, but we're being it. So I ordered a black wig. And I'm gonna put it on and see his reaction when he gets home. I'm trying to like just shove the hair in. 
so that there isn't a big bulge in any one area. <laughs> I think I'm gonna need to watch a tutorial on how to wear a wig. Okay, now like the top of my head is like flatter. I just cannot imagine myself with black hair. Oh my god, he's gonna be like, what the hell is going on? Maybe I should not wear the shirt. Does the shirt make the wig look way worse? The back of my head is so puffy with hair. Okay, let me change my shirt. The shirt helps a little. Should probably take the tag off of my wig too. I think I need to tuck these parts in. Comment down below what you think I'm gonna be for Halloween after putting this wig on. Not announcing it yet, but stay tuned on my Instagram this weekend. All right, now let's just like wait downstairs for Brian to come home. I'm just gonna sit on the couch wearing this and then see what happens when he walks in. <laughs> I'm just gonna make a mental note to never dye my hair dark like this because I don't think it looks good on me. I thought I was gonna like it for some reason. I do not. I don't, I, don't, I think it's a no-go for me. What in the world is this? <laughs> Did you dye your hair? Yeah, I dyed it. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> you think I dyed my hair? What happened? Is this your Halloween costume? <laughs> is this even my GF? <laughs> Yeah. Your face. This is my hair now. No, I don't believe you. This is my hair now. I don't believe you. This is my hair. I don't believe you. Oh, that was good. It was not good. I'm still scared. Why are you scared? Who this is? An imposter in my GF's place. Not funny. <laughs> Did you dye your hair? <laughs> what? Man, I'm trying to play soccer with my life. <laughs> an imposter. Don't. I don't mean, you should ever do your hair that color, babe. <laughs> Why not? It looks different. <laughs> Pads. What do you think I use for shin pads? Socks. Napkins. What did you put in your socks? What is in there? Don't tell me it's my underwear. Oh my god! <laughs> it worked perfect. Those are like <laughs> better than shin pads. Brian brought my cart to go to the soccer game and found those from getting my pedicure. Oh my gosh. What a way to end the vlog, babe. <laughs> end it with a bang. <laughs> All right. Oh. The weekly vlog is ending. I was gonna end it earlier, but I was waiting for my wig to come in the mail. And then it finally came. <sighs> Why are you breathing so heavy? <sighs> Oh my gosh, if I have to hear this one more time, you're never allowed to go on the scale again. Oh. Oh. Alright, say goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. See you guys in the next one.